breaking news, per Dallas Morning News, Evan Grant has reported that Rugnet Odor did not make the Rangers roster and he is no longer a Texas Ranger. Rugnet Odor's tenure has been some of the most aggravating uh, has been some of the most aggravating seasons to see as a Rangers fan. 2016 was his career year. Oh, sorry. Hitting over 30 home runs, having a near 800 OPS, and the Rangers capitalized on that for some reason and signed him to a six year, $49 million contract. What followed was some of the most inconsistent seasons I have ever seen. 2018 was his best season of his contract, having a 750 OPS and being a Gold Glove finalist. Uh, but man, Ruggie is just so aggravating watching him as a fan. I appreciate his flair. I appreciate his passion for the game, and uh, unfortunately for the Rangers, he's uh, having iconic moments means fights. You know, Nolan Ryan and Ruggie Odor, uh, but. Cool, that punch to Bautista. I remember seeing that on ESPN and thinking, ooh, Texas is in the spotlight. But not for championship performances. Uh, but, man, from April to July, Rugi absolutely sucked. But, oh, all of a sudden, August and September, he wants to play baseball. That's what made it just as difficult for the Rangers to manage him. And also, his spring training performance has consistently been really good. Uh, but finally, in 2021, the Rangers have just ended ended this experiment. They even moved him over to third base for spring training. But he, like, I think Evan Grant mentioned in his article that he went 2 for 26. Oh, my God. But I'm glad it's finally over. He's no longer a Ranger. But... He still has two years, $24 million left on his contract. And what do you know? Another bad contract the Rangers have to inherit, most likely. I start this all with Elvis Andrews's, Andrews's extension back in 2013. Seven years, $120 million. And then what followed was Prince Fielder, Shinsuchu, which I can't say it was a terrible contract, but it was not the best contract for the Rangers. Rugi, Corey Kluber, and uh, we still are paying. The Rangers are still paying Alex Rodriguez. So just so many bad contracts. Uh, the Rangers just got done paying Prince Fielder's contract with his insurance uh, settlement. I guess it's just frustrating. Uh, I don't think any team's gonna realistically go after Rugi. Uh, maybe they're desperate to fill second base, but second base is, I, I would argue second base next to catcher is the hardest position to find consistency. There are not a lot of great second basemen that you can name off the top of your head in the major leagues right now. Paul DeYoung, DJ Lee Mayhew being the best one, uh, Colton, or sorry, <clears throat> Cattell Marte, Jose Altuve to an extent, but man, like I have to go deep into uh major league major league players in order to really find the best second baseman. That's how hard it is to find good second baseman. And Rugi, I'm afraid, is not gonna find any team. My first subscriber, Black Tino Mario, perfectly predicted this, Rugi being released. I don't know if this is a formal release, but I'll count it as a release in my book. Um you know like no teams want them. Like at the 2020 deadline deadline uh there was a rumor that Rugi was going to be traded to the Red Sox and the Rangers would get back Nathan Eovaldi. In retrospect, I'm so glad that didn't happen because Nathan Eovaldi has just as bad a contract. I think he's being paid $15 million a year by the Red Sox to have a 4.5 plus ERA. Uh, <clears throat> good, but still though, like, it just stinks. Uh, man, I bet ownership has been so discouraged to go after big free agents because of all these bad contracts they've inherited. And the league as a whole has had bad contracts too. Uh, Albert Pujols, CJ Wilson, Chris Davis, Miguel Cabrera, Jason Hayward, it's just, and David Price, Pablo Sandoval, so many bad contracts. And Rangers ownership, I bet, has been discouraged because of that. 
but luckily, if Rugi doesn't find a team, it's only two years. Like, R- ownership are billionaires. I'm sure they can fulfill, like, $24 million more. It's a lot of money, but after that, I think that's when it's time for the Rangers ownership group to stop giving excuses. Uh, not that they're giving excuses, but they're certainly not providing any uh, hope. After that, no more excuses. Get big free agents. But, uh, man, Ruggie's no longer a Ranger. Nick Solak can feel second base. Brock Holt, too. Justin Foscue being the first-round draft pick in 2020 at second. Um, good. Potential. Get that rebuild going. Get the process going. Uh, but that's all I'll say. Yeah, Rug Nettledore, no longer a Texas Ranger. I'm happy, but at the same time, really sucks that the Rangers have had to have to inherit another bad contract. Trust the process.